I'm going to show you guys my secret pretty much to how I've been so effectively uh, artificial fishing, what I think. Because before this, I was not having much luck. Once I started doing this, I almost don't ever come home without catching something. You guys know I love this color. This little combo right here is the perfect one. If you guys are doing artificial fishing, I think it's the strongest knot. I used to use the uni to uni. what's up guys your boy jay fishy here and guys uh today's video is going to be a little different uh for one reason <laughs> and one reason only um fishing has been tough in my area i mean i don't know if it's like this for everybody or every year but uh this year has been a little different here in florida we've had very very cold weather and i don't know if that's what's been affecting the fish or if it's just that bad season time right now you know between uh winter and coming up right here on uh spring so yeah um let me know how it's been for you guys uh, again i'm located in southwest florida so if you guys are in the area around tampa bay let me know which, if you guys been catching stuff uh but hey i've just been having a tough time so i decided today to do a video that i've been wanting to do for a very long time uh not to mention it's uh been uh, pretty much a whole year tomorrow of uh, me doing youtube so i figured let me do like a kind of like a special and uh i want to show you guys how i set up to go artificial fishing kind of how i do my knots and uh what i use but yeah so uh there's not gonna be fishing in this video hopefully you guys enjoy watching how i rig my setup and uh if you guys have any tips let me know down in the comments and also if you guys are gonna uh, use it and uh it's helpful to you guys let me know too because i love making these videos for multiple purposes you know to help out the new people or the people who uh are gonna see it and be like hey dude you're doing this wrong you know do it like this or something like that or just anything guys let me know down in the comments but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this and uh yeah i'm just gonna show you guys pretty much how i set up to go artificial fishing so yeah i'm gonna be doing this on a uh, pen battle three three thousand with the uh pair it's a combo so it's paired up with the uh, medium light seven foot uh, fast action uh, rod one piece and uh, yeah this is uh what i use when i go artificial fishing like i told you guys before uh it's best you have something light just a small reel with a, uh, a light rod just because you're going to be casting this thing you got to think probably a hundred times while you're out there around there you know depending how long you go but uh yeah so i always recommend something super light uh the lighter you can go the better there's a bunch of lightweight setups out there this is just kind of what i, I ended up going with and i've stuck with it and it's got me guys almost everything you can think of inshore so yeah let's get started all right guys well i'm gonna start by uh showing you guys how i uh tie my um my leader to my main line and uh this main line is actually 10 pound braid and my leader is a 15 pound leader line. So uh, it's a little hard to see the leader line and the main line. Right, so like I said, just to have tension on the line, what I do is uh, I wrap it around my fingers a couple times. And now this is like, you know, there's a good bit of tension on this, as you guys can tell. I'm trying to get the best angle here, but it's not really working. One second. All right, well, as you guys can tell here, this has good tension on it and i forgot to mention it's um it's about a a yard of this so that's like three feet of the uh, leader line just to make sure you have enough so um, i started off on this side and what i do here is i go over the main line one time just like that just a simple one time right over it pull for pressure and there you go so now this is where it begins to get a little complicated until you do it a couple times, just like any other knot, guys. So don't be discouraged about it. But uh, so you grab the, the leader and you just go one time under on th that side, one time under on this side, one time under on this side, and you just keep going. And you do about, I would say, 10 on each side. So there's two on each side. And uh, there's three. There's four. So that would be eight. So this is nine, 10, 11, 12. And you'll start noticing the bead already kind of basically tying itself. So it's 13, 14, 15. I do 16, between 16 and 20. I mean, when I, this is like a lightweight uh, setup that I'm doing here. So, you know, like I said, it's 15 pound test and a uh, 10 pound main line. So it's not like I need a, a real, real tight uh, 
uh, not. But if you have, like, if you're out, you know, you, you know, you're hunting for monsters or big fish, you know, feel free to do it as many times as you think you need for what you're going for. So uh, once you're done doing that, you guys can see right there, it's already starting the uh, little knot there. <clears throat> so this, right when you get here, what you do is you grab your main line, this tail end, not the, uh, not the one coming from the reel, the tail end. And you just do one time, I think they call this a hitch knot. So you go from over here. Okay. So you just make a circle and you go right back in where you started. Oop. Just like this. So you see, here's a circle and you're just coming right back in. And that oh, that's over this. Do it one time. Kind of, I don't want to say cinch it down, but you know, pull it. And now it's locked in. Now that that's not going to come off. But just to be safe, especially like I said, you know, this knot right here, you could probably already have it and it's gonna be fine. But uh, I always do a second one, just, you know, just in case guys. And uh, just do the same thing again, make the circle and you put it right through there again. Sorry about the vehicles and stuff in the background, the dogs. I might do a voiceover over this, I'm not sure. And yeah, so there you go. Now, your knot is complete, except for one thing. The most important part actually <laughs> so like i said this is pretty much already tied but um you have to uh basically grab your main line grab your leader if you have gloves i would prefer that because you're gonna pull real real tight pretty much as tight as you cut you can as tight as you can think of just to cinch down everything but before that um you have to use some kind of liquid to um just to put on the line to make sure you're not uh burning the line so uh personally i just use saliva either with your mouth or you can put it on your finger like i just did there just some kind of liquid to make sure that's uh tight and then like i said if you have a a, a glove even better so basically like i said you just got to make sure that you're grabbing that tight and then i'll probably use my t-shirt here and yeah what you do is you just pull as hard as you can guys as hard as you can like just give it a good pull there and what that's just going to do is just going to cinch it completely down. And yeah, there you go. That's a, uh, an FG knot there. Now you just cut both tag ends, you know. Look at that, guys. That thing is on there. It is tight. There's not going to be much that's going to uh, break this. Let's see if I can uh, focus on it here. Oh, there it goes. See that, guys? Look at that. So yeah, you just cut the tag end here of the uh, leader and the tag end of the main line. As tight as you can down to that knot, too. And uh, yeah, that's done there. So that pretty much gets rid of having to use a, a barrel swivel. And the reason I say that, because uh, I guess personally, I don't have much experience. Like I said, this is a, you know, one year into fishing, but um, some fish are so smart, no matter how small your barrel swivel, they're gonna see it. So kind of the best thing for you to do it's just to eliminate it. And guys, th this doesn't take a long time to learn, believe me. It took me maybe five tries before I was able to completely uh, do my first one. And now, as you guys seen right there, this video is not even five minutes long and I just completed it. And I could have probably done it faster if it wasn't for me trying to make the video to show you guys. So um, yeah, let me uh, cut this up and then I'm gonna show you guys how I rig on my uh, jig heads. All right, guys, well, look at that. That's the uh, finished FG knot right there. As you guys can tell, it's super thin. Uh, again, this is because I have a light line and light leader line. So the thicker you go, obviously, you know, the thicker it's going to look. But this will slide right through your top eye on your uh, rod like nothing, guys. It's it's seriously some of the uh, best. I think it's the strongest knot. I used to use the uni to uni for a long time until I started realizing uh, I was always breaking off at the uh, this, at this knot, the leader to a uh, main line. I wasn't breaking off on the hook anymore. And I was like, man, that must mean that my hook um, knot is stronger than my leader knot. So I changed it up and now this is what I use. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so as you guys can see in the background here, we got our uh, little trusty uh, jig head with our slam shady on it. You guys know I love this color. This little combo right here is the perfect one. If you guys are doing artificial fishing guys um, and you're not too familiar with it, just pick up a paddle tail and a jig head. I prefer light quarter ounce because uh, once you start getting too heavy, you know, you're going to get more tired the more times that you uh, cast it. And not only that, you're also going to be just um, kind of floating on the bottom rather than the top. A lot of the times with uh, these jig, with these uh, paddle tails, you want to be closer to the top uh, water level. 
maybe like middle but you definitely don't want to be on the ground too too long because you're just going to keep getting tied up on structure or just anything you just want something lighter in my opinion but i guess it depends on where, where your area is what you're doing with it this is just what i do guys so now this is the most important part right so you get your leader and uh guys i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys my secret pretty much to how i've been so effectively uh uh artificial fishing what i think because before this i was not having much luck once i started doing this i almost don't ever come home without catching something whether it be a ladyfish or you know a trout it's something so you're gonna grab your leader right and you're just gonna make a simple uh i don't even know what you would call it. it's just just one one lock i mean uh, one uh twist right there you see that that's all you're gonna do guys so you're gonna make one circle like that and you're gonna grab your jig head and you're gonna put this tag in through your jig head as you guys can tell it's not gonna make it past that knot there that loop what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your tag end <clears throat> and now you're gonna push it through here through that circle you made right out the top and you're gonna notice that you've created this loop in the center as you guys can tell there there's a loop and now this is the main line this is the tag end you're going to wrap it around the main line three times one two three As you guys can see there the loop is still in the center now you're going to grab it under you're going to push it under right through the middle of that loop that you made you're going to use a little bit of liquid i used saliva there sorry <laughs> and you're just going to start tightening it now you're going to pull it tight there and look at this guys Forget the tag end because this is going to get cut off. You're going to have this loop in your leader right there. Now, this one, it might have made it a little too wide, but I was doing that just to uh, kind of show it. <clears throat> Maybe about half of that would be perfect. Somewhere around like right there is where I like to keep it. But I just wanted to make sure I was going to make it big enough for the camera to catch it. So now, guys, this loop knot, I personally think is what is giving me so much more um like just being so much more effective when i'm out there you're gonna make sure you gotta make sure this is tightened down too do that real quick okay yeah now it's good so it's just gonna look like this here let me cut the tag end off so yeah once again i cut it off now there it is again for video purposes i did make it a little too big than what i would prefer but i'm pretty sure this is going to give it the same movement so guys the thing you got to think is when this isn't here you're pulling your your jig head just straight so yeah it's still you know the paddle tail is still uh paddling along but it's coming straight back to you now you add this loop in there and anytime you jerk your jig head your jig head has movement so now your jig head starts moving a lot more as you're bringing it back through the water and it just gives it such a natural look i'm telling you guys you have to try this loop knot here you just have to give it a shot and let me know if it helps you guys out or not. But I think personally, it's it's literally what has changed uh, my artificial fishing experience. So, yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. Like I said, it's just the, uh, the FG knot right there to my main line. About two and a half, three feet of a leader line. And then, boom, the loop knot right to my jig head, to my little slam shady. And, guys, that's pretty much it there. That's exactly how I uh, set up to go artificial fishing. Oh, yeah. And also, I mean, let me know down in the comments, guys, if you guys do something different in this and uh, it's been working for you guys. I, I would love to try other methods. The thing is, before this, I was in, um, I was using the uni to uni. And uh, like I said, it, I would never say it failed me until I was snagged or um, or, you know, I would I guess maybe if a big fish was on, there, there could have been a time where it was too much for that knot. I'm not sure. Um I just what I started hating was when I would get snagged instead of just losing my jig head and my uh, artificial, I would lose my whole leader. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever been out fishing to tie a whole uh, basically an FG knot again out there, guys, becomes a challenge in if there's wind, if, uh, you know, bugs are around, if it's dark. There's just a lot of things that could happen that would make this knot this knot here a lot harder to tie so i was getting tired of losing my leader i would much rather just lose my hook and you know tying that loop knot is 30 seconds max as you guys can tell even in the video with me explaining it it was about 30 seconds so 
yeah again let me know in the comments if you guys do something different i'd love to try it out and maybe uh, showcase it hey i'm down to learn whatever you already know me guys i i pretty much tell you guys all the time y'all probably know more than me i've only been fishing for a year i just wanted to uh i like to showcase these kind of things because um people who are just starting they're not you know they don't know uh so much like this like i you don't guys don't know how many people i've seen out there with swivels you know with this connected to their main line in a swivel and to me i don't want to say it's not gonna um catch you fish because i'm sure it will but um will it catch you those real finicky fish or on a finicky day you're out there trying and uh, i'm throwing something with no swivel on it that basically is kind of more camouflage i guess you could say i'm probably going to be the one catching the most fish now hey you're you can, you're always going to catch something regardless if you present your uh, swim baits right i just like to be as effective as i can and i'd like to present that to you guys and show you guys what i tend to uh, do so yeah that, that was it guys i just wanted to show you guys that and uh, yeah let me know um again you guys do it differently and uh, if it's working for you guys i'd love to hear it right guys but that pretty much does it uh yeah i was basically just wanting to show you guys how i uh set my rods up to go artificial fishing um hopefully it helps you guys like i said i'm sorry about the uh no fishing in the video uh but it's still fishing related so hopefully it's uh still okay and uh right now at the moment i just i haven't been able to go out uh to other locations that i've been wanting to try but here coming up i'm gonna be definitely doing that so stay tuned to that uh please if you can subscribe hit the like button um you know like i said these videos i know they're kind of you know they're a little boring to the people who know how to set their rigs up or who already have their way of setting it up but uh hey guys i just hope i could help at least one or two people out there who are trying to learn how to saltwater fish and uh just want to know you know what's effective in the area or just what works because that's the thing guys one of the biggest things in fishing is what works you know so i'm just showing you guys what i do and uh if you guys go back and watch my videos probably ever since maybe the 20th video or so this is just how i've been setting up so uh yeah uh if you guys need to learn how to tie knots and how to set up for artificial fishing this is definitely the video for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, yeah let me know if you're going to be uh doing that down in the comments if you're going to be trying my method and also let me know if you have a different method that's going to work because again i'd love to learn new ways of doing it maybe quicker maybe stronger whatever it could be uh you know i'm down to learn guys as i always say uh you know you learn something new every day so so yeah guys uh i hope you guys enjoyed this one like i said i know it's different uh and hey, I don't I don't expect everybody to enjoy these videos, but hopefully one or two of you guys did. So I hope you guys have a blessed week. I hope you guys have the best luck out there fishing. Um, remember, guys, always stay positive. Always keep them good vibes up. And uh, yeah, I hope to catch you guys back on my channel. But until next time, guys, peace.